case on that one. Glad to be back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's this is uh, this is a kind of a special place. My name's Walt Adams, and this is my wife, Madeline Sinek, the namesake of this bed and breakfast. She moved it here from the Vermilion River uh, near, uh, near Abbeville, in Perry, Louisiana. Uh, late 90s 96 1996 and 97. and you just know, really carefully restored it over a long period of time and added to it and it's just developed uh, its own uh, sort of reputation as a bed and breakfast and as a an event music venue and uh, culinary menu, uh, venue if you will. so uh, we've had a lot of fun with it uh, Madeline and I have only been married uh, eight years, but and I'm a transplant from Atlanta, so I can't speak too eloquently about uh, the history as it relates to uh, Creole and Acadiana. But I've learned a lot, so I'll do my best. Um, I retired as a consultant a few years ago and just decided to uh, uh, help Madeline here full time, mostly focused on events and our secret supper program and weddings and those types of things. Mm -hmm. And she focuses mainly on management of the, of the bed and breakfast, which we've just recently enjoyed reconnection with a lot of European visitors that were st uh, stalled, if you ask the word to say, during the pandemic of COVID-19 and now they're coming back and we're thrilled about it because yes. they bring this, Maddie says they, uh, she likes getting up and preparing breakfast because the whole world comes to the breakfast table here. And uh, it's it's so much culture and so many interesting people that it just, the thing kind of developed itself. We don't have to do any promotion. People just mm -hmm. know about it from various uh, media outlets and so forth. I also always say we always learn something, which is so nice. From every guest. Yes. Yeah. We, we particularly enjoy, you know, food and, and music and, uh, and wine. And we have uh, developed a Secret Supper series over several years with a brief pandemic hiatus. But we used to have very large groups outside, but since COVID, we've decided that uh, it's just too big, 50, 60 people. Um, and so we do them all inside the, the Maison now, and we can control the environment. But I, it's, I think it's important to note that it is a continuation of a culture that has been here for a very long time. The connection between food and music and people gathering and having a good time is, is just natural here. Secret Supper um, Spring Dining Series and what it is is a collection of the best Grammy nominated artists, musicians around town, um, chefs from around the world, and really good wine. I do the marketing and graphic design mm -hmm. and um, help around for the dinners. Yeah, how many people usually attend? It's usually 22 to 26. Um, and we usually have two to three musicians and one or two chefs. Mm -hmm. And the wine pairings? Wine pairings by Wild Child Wines, usually Denny, Katie, or both come. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Chef tonight is Ozzy Mendoza of Foul Milk Nola. Um, we're really excited. All of the chefs in New Orleans are chatting about him. The buzz is strong, so dinner should be really good. Awesome. Well, thank you.
Yeah, no, nobody does it better than those two cultures. I'm proud to be part of one and borrowing, of course, from another. Uh, and of course, for our first course, we have a little picadillo, like really, really simple, something that I grew up with. Um, if you ate it with your hands, you did it the right way. Uh, we did it a little bit differently this time, however. <laughs> we did it a little bit differently this time, however, in that we and I smoked the beef prior to grinding it down, mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit more off. So, thank you all so much.